Hey, this is Eric Durack for MedHealthFit and the Corporate Wellness Series. How's your blood pressure? Well, most people don't really know what their blood pressure is unless they go to their doctors and they get it measured in the office. Well, since over a third of Americans have high blood pressure and hypertension itself is one of the leading contributors to both heart disease and stroke, I'm going to ask the question again, what is your blood pressure? You should know that 120 over 80 is a normal blood pressure and that anything systolic over 140 millimeters of mercury or your diastolic, the, the bottom number, over 90 millimeters of mercury is hypertensive. And every day you should be working to reduce your blood pressure if you know that it's high. What's the first thing you can do? Well, if it were me, I'd be on Amazon.com tomorrow and I'd be looking for home blood, sugar, uh, blood pressure kits. You can buy one for your, um, you know, just the cuff that you can put on your, your upper arm. You can wear a, a wristwatch that actually can do your blood pressure. Or you can actually clip on a blood pressure unit to your finger and you can measure it there. Knowing your blood pressure more than once a day is going to be one of the best things that you can do to lower it. Because if you know what the numbers are when you wake up, after you eat, after you come home from a busy day at work, or even at work, you'll know how you can work to, to lower those numbers. So, blood pressure kit. The second thing is you know, monitoring during the day. You should know your resting heart rate, you should know what your blood pressure is, and you should know what your triggers are that may elevate your blood pressure, like stress. Uh, you got a problem with the boss, uh, how you react in traffic, any of these types of triggers that make your blood pressure go up, uh, you got to work on those. The other thing is, is doing a relaxation program. Now, one of our other modules, we talk with uh, local yoga instructor Tara Eggers about doing a relaxation program. Well, if you test your blood pressure and you do a relaxation program for three to five minutes and then you test your blood pressure again, you can see if it goes down. And the better conditioning you get at relaxing, the better that your blood pressure response is going to be. So you can use relaxation music, you can use um, meditation, you can use breathing exercises, you can do a lot of those types of things that will help reduce your blood pressure. But knowing what that number is during the course of the day is the most important thing. So my recommendation for hypertension control is have your own meter, measure your blood pressure during the course of the day and do some kind of relaxation training three to five minutes in the morning, three to five minutes in the afternoon that you can actually learn to relax. This is Eric Durack for MedHealthFit. Thanks for watching.